The FIA are known for giving their fair share of mixed messages, but when it comes to race directors, they don't seem to have a clue what to do. The problem is that no one seems able to decide if the two of them did a good enough job to stay for another season. Niels Wittich and Eduardo Fritas were the successors to Michael Massey, whose choices at the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix left a poison chalice for his successors. Have the two done enough to stay, or is the FIA in search for some new directors, maybe even Michael Massey? Stick around to find out. So, there are a few things to cover in this video. First off is what the race director system is going to look like next year. Then, we'll talk about whether Niels Wittich and Eduardo Fritas will be making a return. Finally, Mohamed Ben Salem, the FIA president, has said something shocking about Michael Massey's exit at the end of 2021. Let's talk about 2023's race director system first, though. Actually, first we need to talk about the 2022 system. No, wait, 2021 first. Right, in 2021, there was just one race director, Michael Massey. That was great, he was well trained and did a great job up until the 2021 season finale, where his decisions brought the wrath of F1 fans worldwide upon him. More on that later though. The FIA needed to change things up after that to try and bring the public and the paddock back on side. So we got a change in system that saw two race directors take over the job of one, Niels Wittich and Eduardo Fritas. The idea was they would rotate races. They could work together to manage the races and learn and grow together. The basic theory being two heads are better than one. It seems sensible, right? Well, kind of. The problem was that the teams got a bit miffed that the race direction style was changing from race to race. They were also unimpressed by the racing knowledge of the two. A common complaint was that rules that in the driver's eyes didn't really matter were being enforced far too strictly. Track limits are the perfect example of this. The drivers hated the fact that they were being held accountable for leaving the confines of the track when in their opinion, it didn't really make a difference. We won't go into the technicalities of this though because that is a whole 10-minute video on its own. The drivers got so annoyed that GPDA director George Russell released a statement on behalf of the other drivers when he said that they believe that having the rotation isn't the best thing for a sport for that consistency. We've never had a steward from a previous event at the following race to talk about any certain decisions, I believe. But rather than go back to a system of installing a single race director, Ben Salem thinks it's essential for the governing body to have multiple people involved to ensure there is a smooth transition should a problem occur with the incumbent. Asked about a potential change to the F1 race director's role for 2023 during a media briefing at the Dakar rally, Ben Salem said, There is a process now, and I have a team who's going through a proper process and training for stewarding and for race directors. You cannot just have one race director and rely on them. I see that we should prepare the second role. We cannot rely in the biggest discipline that we have, or any other discipline. What if something happened? If we're going to sustain motorsport, we have to be ready with training. It is a fair point, two race directors are necessary. Just look at the drivers who missed races in 2022. What would happen if that was a race director that was ill? You can't just race without one, that doesn't work. And with 23 races next season, asking someone to be away from their family for half of the year is unreasonable as well. So two is definitely the right choice, but they just need to be more in sync with their decision making. Perhaps one could work from home while the other is at the race, so both are present each weekend, but the traveling is reduced for both. I don't know, we don't have the answer, but someone at the FIA is getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to work out the answer, so we're expecting a good solution. Okay, now we know that the FIA won't be returning to the one race director system. Let's talk about who the race directors could be for 2023, because it might not be either of the current two. Formula One could start the new season with two new race directors after FIA President Mohamed Ben Salem admitted neither Niels Wittich nor Eduardo Fritas was safe in the job. Last season, the duo were appointed as F1's new race directors, with the FIA opting for a rotating system in the wake of former race director Michael Massey's exit. Relations between the FIA and the rest of the paddock are almost at an all-time low. The drivers aren't refusing to race just yet, but there are plenty of examples of that happening in the past, so don't be too surprised if it happens. Unfortunately for the race directors, as FIA employees, they're directly in the firing line of the team's displeasure. Despite this, they managed to keep their noses relatively clean for most of the season. 
However, after the Japanese Grand Prix and Pierre Gasly's all-too-close encounter with a recovery vehicle that was on track, it was decided to finish the season with only one race director, Wittich. But after his United States Grand Prix decision-making, Wittich's position is also on the line. He's said to have been the one to have wrongly informed Haas they could protest Alpine, even though the 30-minute deadline had come and gone. That led to Fernando Alonso being hit with a 30-second penalty, a penalty Alpine contested and won. 2022's contentious calls have Ben Salem conceding that neither race director may be back in the paddock at the start of the 2023 season. I am a big believer that there is, somewhere in the world, better race directors than anyone, better stewards, he said. Now, we're reaching out to the ASNs, and we're asking them to send us people for the training, and we have a proper team now for the training. You will get good officials, I promise this. We can only begin to guess at who might replace them if they do get the sack. Sylvia Bellot could be an option, though. She has been working as a steward and race official since 2009, including a stint as F2 and F3 race director in 2020. She's worked on F1 races as well, and definitely seems the most qualified. Finally, we spoke briefly about Mohamed Ben Salem's recent statement about Michael Massey. He has made an incredible claim by denying that Michael Massey was forced out of his role and instead blamed social media for his exit. That's right, apparently, if social media wasn't so toxic, Michael Massey would still be officiating this year. Yeah, we couldn't quite believe it either. Massey played a key role in the controversial conclusion of the 2021 title fight with his decision surrounding a late safety car in the final race of the year in Abu Dhabi, allowing Max Verstappen to pass Lewis Hamilton for the honours in a last lap shootout. The Australian subsequently appeared to be the victim of an FIA restructuring exercise that eventually resulted in motorsports governing body hiring two new race directors in Eduardo Fritas and Niels Wittich. But speaking at the Dakar rally, Ben Salem said of Massey's departure, it was also his choice. I'd been talking to him at the beginning, there were human errors there, and I felt that he also wanted to just not go further, because of what he got from social media, the toxic social media. I spoke to him and it was unfair also for him. The FIA was always supportive. Massey and his family were the subject of death threats and were targeted by vile abuse online in the wake of what unfolded 13 months ago. In November, the FIA announced it would be using AI technology to begin to stamp out toxic behavior on social media following further death threats to a number of its employees. This is in addition to the Drive It Out campaign launched at the Hungarian Grand Prix. Referencing other instances of online abuse within the FIA, Ben Salem added, This is the same thing that's happening to Sylvia Bellot, FIA steward, again to some of our members. Threats. I got some threats also, to reverse the results, and I didn't take them seriously. But now we stand against the toxic social media that will affect our sport. I'm a big believer that if we don't take a stand, we might find the damage will be beyond repair for our sport in the future. We have spoken about online abuse and F1 plenty in the past, but I'm not sure Ben Salem can blame that for Massey leaving. Whether he wanted to go or not, he couldn't continue after how the 2021 season ended. What's your thoughts on these statements from Ben Salem? Should the race directors be replaced? Do you have faith in this new training system they are creating? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And on your way down, don't forget to subscribe in preparation for the 2023 season. Until next time, drive safe and bye for now.